What up, Juggalos? Panic 17 here. <clears throat> I made a. You YouTubers will know about this. I made an 11 minute video just to delete that shit. So, uh. I wanna congratulate Jinx on, you know, becoming a new member of Carnival Spirits. It's definitely the touch that I think we needed. We've got a lot of male, you know, testosterone driven, you know, it's a testosterone driven channel. One second. And if you hear that music in the background and you know what it is, throw a comment down there because you're the shit. I'll give you a hint. It's on Nintendo 64. So she exploded on the channel with a badass fucking video, you know talking about the original six and can juggalos from the last ten years you know whatever it's been truly understand what it was like to uh... excuse me to to know the feeling around the original six and this it, just one tip to her these guys the newer guys, you really got to be careful the way you, that you talk to them because they get their feelings hurt extremely easy. It's not like it used to be. Just a tip. And maybe it'll be different for you because you're a girl. Maybe you can get away with it. But that's just what I've uh, encountered. But, uh... I think no they they cannot understand what it was like because it was a special time it was a special era we were all younger you know everyone here that's one thing that we all can agree on is you know we were all younger not as smart not as informative or anything at one point we all knew nothing you know about ICP and all that shit we all had to learn that's one thing that every juggalo has in common is that one point we didn't know nothing. We had we did have to be taught, but some people found out on their own. I mean, when we were growing up, or at least when I was growing up, first fucking with the internet, there was dial-up. You know, remember that and all that shit. I watched a video on that fucking kids react, you know, and they're tripping out on the connecting to the internet and the sounds and you know AOL and all that shit and it's just fucking nuts that that's old now so I don't know where the fuck that came from I'm too high but there's no way that a juggalo from now can understand what it was like back then because it was just like I said it was a different time it's a different era the juggalo mindset was different and I think Raya hit it on the head when he said that if this was back in the day, Juggalos, and you label this a gang, I think we'd probably be like, hell yeah, we're a gang, motherfucker. What's up, shit, you know, clown, you know, what's up, man? Because Juggalos were just crazier back then. Tr Juggalos truly did not give a fuck back then. I remember, I don't know how true it was because I never went to any concerts back then, but it was said that Juggalos that went to metal concerts and then went to an ICP, the pit was legitimately worse in Juggalo mosh pits than it was in metal. I don't know how true that is. That's purely speculation. But it, it it's kind of hard to put into words. It's just something that I think everyone from then will understand is when we say is no you can never understand why we feel the way we feel at certain times you know because this juggalo did that or this juggalo did this and it's like man you know you kinda wanna say you don't fucking know you know me I've I talk a lot of shit I've said what I said about certain you know juggalos and how I feel and people get mad but it's because you don't understand you know I got lucky. I was never in that. I was never like lucky to be around at a certain time or whatever. I just, I got lucky this time. 
and I got into ICP at the perfect moment. I would have I would have liked to got into it around shit. Riddle box or fucking you know ringmaster or anything, but I I came into it when I came into it barely at the end, and whenever I was getting into it, it almost felt like I had fucked up because the end of con time the end of time will consume us all, and Violent J and Shaggy are gonna be gone forever or at least that's what we thought when the wraith was gonna drop. It, it it felt like something big, you know. You you did what research you could at the internet on, on at the time. You looked everything up. You looked at Blaze, and he had fucking pantyhose on his head, and that should have been around the same time. I can't really remember. It's been so damn long. But unfortunately, you know, for any of y'all juggalos, I'm just you'll never understand why people like Raya feels the way he feels why people like you know blue feels the way he feels or whatever all these people you'll never truly understand unless you grew up around that time around the original six and if you did you would probably be the same way and look at this juggler like man you you're fake man I'm sorry but you're fake you know you're not fucking you know and people say oh you can't say whether as far as I know, people are free. We can say what the fuck we want. You know what I'm saying? So, Just to repeat it one more time, I'm sorry, but you're never going to understand. It was just a different feel. Like Jinx said, you kind of smiled and laughed when Juggalo, whenever Juggalo, whenever Valen J said, and talked about that feeling you get when bumping our shit. You know, what's behind the Juggalo powers. There is no Juggalo powers. We're not some supernatural beings. And we can throw fireballs like Liu Kang out of our fucking hands. But sometimes it almost felt like that. Because ICP was for you. It really did feel like ICP was only for me nobody it was for nobody else yeah they listened to it but it was they were talking just to me and that is one thing that i will say that i do agree with guido is that one of his main problems is that back in the original six this dude right here it seemed like he was talking just to me whereas now it kind of feels like he's talking to everybody you know like a wide range I do kind of miss that feeling of the music like it's only speaking to me and nobody else. Not TJ or Don Chaos or no, they're just only speaking to me. And that's kind of one of the things, you know, kind of one of the feelings around the original six. And we were talking in the group and I think one of the reasons for the uh, new set of uh, Joker cards is that I think it's pretty well known it's kind of cool to be around when the original six was around all these new juggalos wish that they were around then but unfortunately you know they weren't for whatever reason it w it is cool to be around then so they start these new set trying to bring them in to their own version of six jokers cards look I was around when the second you know deck or whatever trying to just bring them into a little club or whatever I don't know I'm just speculating so that's about it damn good topic once again welcome you know to the channel and hopefully everybody else, you know, enjoys her. I'm pretty sure they have because, I, like, I, I saw the views going up quicker than normal. So, that's about it. Whoop. To the whoop.